This is a very short video on how you can go about setting up a team time trial event for the Training Peaks Virtual League. We're assuming that you already know, already have the platform installed, or familiar with it, and know how to set up your own events, and really are just looking for the specific settings to be able to create your event. If this is all new to you or you're new to the platform, uh, please reach out to us at the email address in the uh, scroll below and the description, and we'll be more than happy to, uh, to help you get started and answer any questions you have. So you're ready to create your event. You'll have to give it an event name. We ask that you include TTT in the title just so it's quick to spot what they are in the calendar, race calendar. But other than that, you can make it your own. Pick the date and time your crew can get together. This uh, league has different rounds and those rounds occur over a two week period to give everyone flexibility to get together. Uh, you'll pick the time you want to run and then you'll give it a description. Uh, again, make it your own. You might want to include whether you're, it's human only or human and bot, just so that people that are interested in your event and want to join you will know whether it's the type that's a good fit for them. This particular example will cover the human only settings for this event. Uh, we, we covered human plus bot settings in a separate uh, short video, and I'll link to that in the description. But assuming you're going to want to race with humans only and uh, you have your description, your time set up, next thing you'll want to come down and pick uh, the event type. So make it team time trial. That's the format of race we use for this league. By default, you'll see a field size of 30. Make it a multiple of six. That's 30 or larger, and you'll be uh, safe from any troubles. 36, for example, would have six squads, up to six squads racing. Uh, our maximum team size is six in this league. So that's why we use multiples of six. One note, if you, if you really only want to race yourselves and not race anyone else, you can make this six if you like. If we, we just ask that you make it a private event. Um, we do that so that nobody else just pops in in the calendar wanting to race. And it could actually create a problem for you with only one team slot available. So generally you make it 30, 36, 42, and uh, you're, you're all set. Next thing you have to figure out is the route. Now, we, if you go to the website listed in the scroll and the description, we list the current courses. There are two courses per two week round that you run. So access that website, you'll see the results there as well for the, for the series, for the league. Give you the course, we'll either give you laps or the limit distance. So pay close attention to what we inputs we give you there. Put those in, you're good to go. Ivy League branding. Uh, we asked that that'll just give you some, some league branding on the banners, etc. So for human only, uh, well, for counting riders, that means the third rider coming across the line in your event is what stops the clock. Uh, and that's for, for whether you're using humans or bots, it's always that third rider. That's the important one that stops the clock. So the minimum you want to even try to race this with is three humans. So pick minimum size of three, max size of six. That's just the league max. Counting riders is fixed also. So you want to start at least with three humans in this event and hope you don't have anybody drop, <laughs> drop out. Um, the next thing you want to change from non-default is wind. Because we run this over a two-week period and wind conditions change over time on the island, uh, you'll pick wind none so that everyone, no matter when they run the event, will have the same conditions. Weather clear and lighting always day is what we request, but those, actually, those two actually don't impact the racing. So if you're going to do a human-only uh, TTT, you're not interested in including bots in your squad, you want to check the humans, human riders only box. Otherwise, you will get bots, potentially. So if you're, if you're sure you don't want bots at all, definitely pick the human rider only option. And the only other non-default thing you'll want to pick really is a, this box here where you'll email results to the organizer. Then whoever sets up the event will get a CSV file after the event and you can email that file or that just forward that email really to us at the email address in the scroll and the description. We'll take care of getting the results uploaded for you. And that's really all you need to do. 
you have any questions at all, reach out to us at that email address or Discord, um, and we'll be glad to uh, answer any questions you have. Thank you.